all of this here. These are the thoughts that are going on in my head. Good morning guys, how are you doing? It's the 2nd of July, I'm back at Old Rich Valley Road. I'm gonna make my way over this way. There is Godspeed and Remy in the background who um, we stayed at the hostel with last night. So it's time to start walking. Love a good thing, I forgot what it's called. Uh, style, love a good style. Always fun to try and get yourself um, over it. Oh my God, this one's missing. Right, I'm, trying to try, I'm gonna try and do it with the camera in hand and hope I don't drop the camera. Unless it takes me forever, and then you might think, oh my god. Woo! <laughs> okay, let's turn this around. Ugh. Okay, I think my filming's okay. That's not, obviously. Made it! <laughs> so as you can see, very nice walking trails, nice and flat, gradual descent, which is what we want. So on day 30, about 545 miles in, I should be further along and I'm starting to feel a little frustrated, a little despondent, I suppose, that I'm not further ahead. And I feel almost like annoyed with myself as though like I could do better. And I just don't understand why I can't get more miles in. Um, you know, it's not like I'm not trying, but it's just really, really, really frustrating. The question is, what if I do my best, but my best isn't good enough and I don't make it in a hundred days these are the thoughts that are going on in my head and I need to get them out of my head because I need to be positive but yeah what if my what if my best isn't good enough hey guys so the time is 10 56 on Sunday 2nd of July we have just arrived at uh, not more shelter which means, dun dun dun, I have walked, let me tell you about the board. Okay, not more shelter is 558.7 miles bashed out. I want to get to at least uh, Jenkins shelter, so that's two more shelters down. So yeah, I've got quite a few more miles to go. But yeah, good start to the morning. Let's keep on walking. Let's embrace this fun little um, obstacle. Oh. Oh, I'm just gonna take a little break and have a little snack. So I've got, this is uh, a Cliff Bar walnut oat and raisin.
We're doing a big climb now, about 2,000 meters in elevation over the next two miles. As you can see, I'm dripping in sweat because I'm just trying to be really consistent. Just ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum. Step, 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 step. And just get through this because the sooner I am at the top, the sooner I can get to the bottom and the sooner I can get the next mile banked. Woo! I can hardly talk, but I can walk. Walk, walk, walk. Woo! This hill, this mountain is still going. Up, up. So you guessed it, I'm still powering my way up this big hill. But as I was walking up, I've been thinking about two little girls who've been inspiring me and they've been leaving me really wonderful comments in the comment section in the YouTube videos. So I just wanna say a big thank you to Abby and Lucy for all your support. You guys are amazing. Can't wait to see you when I come back. And yeah, thank you for watching all the videos. I really appreciate it. Hey guys, I have finished that big old climb. So I'm th hoping you can see behind me. This is the Chestnut Knob Shelter, which is at 568.1 miles, which is pretty epic. So our current elevation is 4,409. So super pleased I've got here. But I'm gonna push on to the next shelter, which is Jenkins Shelter. So there's one more big climb to go before I get there and it's about 10 miles but the time now is what time is it time is 3 40 so pretty pleased with that actually like I seem to have um smashed it out which is really really good right no rest of the wicked let's carry on walking check out that view really get up Woo! oh yeah do you know what? I'm actually feeling really good, like I'm feeling really strong and I think what it is, is that the other day I had breakfast in Atkins and that evening I had a proper sit down dinner at the hostel I was staying at, then in the morning, so this morning I had like another proper breakfast, so I think it's all the food I've been eating because that's like the first time I've had like big meals apart from um, like when I've been in town, I've normally just had like say one big dinner and then I've sort of left the following day and therefore I've just been like snacking all the time. So I think that's made a big difference to sort of like my, my energy levels. So um, yeah, but yeah, feeling strong, feeling strong people, feeling strong. So we are going over some very interesting terrain at the moment. It's sort of very rocky. And then we've got like fallen trees everywhere and it's just a little bit challenging. This is about 4.9 miles, five miles of this, but the elevation change is only about 200 meters. So that's better than 2000, which was the last climb. So um, yeah, pretty good. Just got to focus and keep walking and keep moving forward. So I'm not exactly moving quickly over this ground. As you can see, it's pretty rocky and it goes on like this for a while. Okay guys, it is 7.42. I'm still going, but I'm doing a lot of downhill and I just feel as though I'm on the home stretch now. I just feel as though I'm so close. I really hope I'm close. Like I really want to get to the shelter in the next 15, 20 minutes. I can't really hack like another hour of walking, but obviously I've just got to keep on going, you know, however long it takes. So fingers crossed this is the home straight and fingers crossed I will be at the shelter soon. The sign we have been waiting for, shelter that way. So I made it at about 8.30. The shelter looks pretty full to be honest. Everyone looks in bed so I'm just going to set my tent up and get to bed basically.
I will leave the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your support. Please like, please subscribe. All the links are down below. And I will see you tomorrow. All right, have a good one. Lots of love.